What's up everybody? This is DDS and in this video I'm going to be answering a question that I received in a comment a little while back and that was pretty much how long do I plan on doing this? What's my end goal and like what keeps me going? And um, the reason why I'm sharing this with you all is because I feel like it's something that other people could get out of this. You know, I responded to it, I believe, and then from there I was like, you know, somebody else can get something out of this because I actually have people who ask me things like this all the time. Like, okay, what keeps you going? What happens when you're not feeling like making beats? Uh, and just stuff like that. And what do what do I see myself doing and all that? Like, when I say, how long do I plan on doing this? And when the person asks me that, I assume they mean the YouTube and music and all of that. So I'm gonna touch on both of those. And then, um, yeah, hopefully you guys get some inspiration out of it. So first things first, the thing that keeps me going is, you know, I enjoy doing this stuff. This YouTube stuff is a lot of work though, even though I've been doing it for about a year or so, like consistently, it's been a lot of work. Like, I didn't know YouTube was gonna be this much work, but um, it's definitely a lot of benefits to it. You just have to put in the work, gotta be disciplined to still do content because you live life and you still have other things going on that you gotta keep going. And then um, as far as music goes, I keep doing the music because it's just something that I'm really passionate about. I love just putting sounds together and seeing what I can come up with. And um, how long do I plan on doing all this? I plan on doing YouTube probably until YouTube, you know, fades out or dies or, you know, if I have, you know, something, I don't know how to describe it. I plan on documenting my life, you know, and some stuff I put on YouTube, a lot of stuff I don't put on YouTube. I take my camera everywhere and I just document certain things and I keep a lot of stuff to myself, some stuff I throw up here. But as far as the stuff I put up here, I just, I plan on doing it forever because I feel like it's something that my children or my family members or anybody that's younger than me will be able to look back and see what I did. Like people could tell me stories about my great grandparents or my grandparents, but there's no, you know, video. I don't know their voice. I don't know what their thoughts were, you know, outside of what other people were saying. Like in these videos, people will be able to look back at these videos and say, okay, he really thought this way or he did this or he did that. So that's one of the things that I liked about it. And then two, I did it. So that way it was a different way of me getting myself out there. You know, at the time I was the guy who produced Try Me For Days Loaf. And I kind of, nobody really knew me like that. And this was a way for me to get myself out there on my own platform, doing my own thing. So that way I'm not necessarily stuck with, okay, I did this, but I haven't done anything else on my own. So. I did that and then now this has become a platform for me to work with other producers, help other producers, um, you know, teach machine, just, you know, stuff that I wish people did when I started. Like when I started doing this stuff, people were on YouTube. When it came to machine, I think it was probably two channels on YouTube that I saw that had you not YouTube tutorials, but machine tutorials. So I wanted to be somebody to throw some things up there show people that I make beats with machine because I don't really see too many people doing it. I mean, now it's starting to get more popular, but I mean, when it comes to actually putting the videos out there, I was seeing a whole lot of FL Studio, which probably still the top one right now, and probably Ableton and things like that. But I think one that's not really valued right now is probably Logic. I think there's a lack of videos in Logic, but I just can't work with Logic. I love machine, but um, anyway, Back to that, and I forgot what I was going to with that. But yeah, I believe YouTube is the future though. Like even though it's been around for a while, I think it's still gonna continue to grow. Like I don't see YouTube slowing down anytime soon. Like I have a TV, YouTube is on the TV, like install, like an app. So you can just go and sit down and watch YouTube. I don't even watch TV, I only stream stuff. Like it's either YouTube, Netflix, or sometimes even Hulu. I barely use Hulu now, but it's just the point that I think it's gonna grow so much. So I'm just gonna keep uploading on YouTube until it's all said and done. Or I just don't, <laughs> if I just find that I just can't document anything or make any more beats or whatever, then that's a different story. But even if I don't make beats, I feel like I'll be doing something else on YouTube. But as far as the music goes, I don't think I'll ever stop making music just because I don't, I don't make music for a purpose in the sense of like, oh, I want to get paid, or I'm doing this for them, I'm doing this for them. I do it because I enjoy it. I have thousands of beats, you know, and all those beats don't get sold. All those beats nobody's using. I have tons of beats that nobody's used. I have beats that people haven't even heard yet. 
you know, just sitting. And I'm my, like, I'm like my worst critic with that, but I do it out of my own enjoyment. It's like a stress relief. I don't even want to call it a stress relief. It's like I'm just in my own world. Ain't nothing like getting a new VST or some new sounds. You sit and just go through them and create something. You know, I don't do it for any, like, I can't even explain to you why I do it. Somebody asked me, why do I make music? It's just because I like doing it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I see myself. God willing, I'm making beats when I'm 70 years old, you know, just doing it, just making music, you know, like I'm just an old man that's still, like how back in the day you might see an old man playing the piano or a saxophone or the guitar or something like that, I'll be that person, you know, with the machine or whatever it is at the time, making my beats or whatever it is I'm doing at the time, and like really that's, I have no plan on stopping doing this stuff because I just love doing it and this is something that I... It's just a part of me, like this, all this stuff right here is a part of me. This camera is a part of me, you know, doing these videos is a part of me, whether I put them on YouTube or not. I, I, I love putting stuff on YouTube, but like I said, prior to this, I enjoy keeping a lot of stuff private as well. I take a lot of pictures, so it's just a part of me. So I just found a way to mesh everything together and that's worked out for me, but it kind of sounds like I'm rambling to me, but um, yeah, I, I really don't plan on stopping. Like I don't have any, end goals like oh I want to make a million dollars off my YouTube channel and then I'm done you know what I'm saying I want to make a million dollars off a beat and then I'm done I want to get a placement then I'm done you know it ain't no it's just man I'm this is my fun now if it was something I was just doing just for a check or something I could be like yeah I want to get I want to make you know a million dollars and I'm done making beats like nah no nah, I just enjoy doing it so and the reason why I feel like this would be helpful for other people is because I feel like you had to be into stuff for the right reasons in order for it to work. Like, let's go back to before I started selling beats, or even not even selling beats, but before I had any signs of success with my music. I had made music for like four years before anything happened. I mean, anything that I could sit here and tell people like, hey, I did that, and they don't know what I was talking about. Like, when Try Me started, like, that's, that's my point right there, because prior to that, I probably sold one beat every three months for twenty dollars <laughs> you know what i'm saying that wasn't that wasn't nothing but i was still uploading on youtube so i was getting money off of me uploading my stuff on youtube because people was watching my beats and listening to them so i was getting views and everything i was consistently getting youtube checks and to, right now i really regret that i stopped doing that but i stopped doing that we're getting that in another video but um the point that I was making was I wasn't doing it for the money. I was doing it because I just liked it. It was something I loved to do and I wanted to share it with the world. And um, once Try Me happened before it even became as big as it was, it was just good to, my song on the radio. They playing my song on the radio. Hey, I heard your song on the radio. I heard your tag on the radio. You know, stuff like that made me feel good. Like that was what it was all about. But if I was in it for money or any other type of thing, I probably would have gave up a long time ago. Like when somebody was in my comments talking crazy not too long ago, and they were like, yeah, he just trying to make money off YouTube. Like, bro, I don't make, uh, my my money, my living money isn't coming from YouTube. I make a nice amount. And when I say a nice amount, I mean it pays two or three of my bills. So I'm grateful for YouTube for that. But I'm saying outside of that, and it ain't like, hey, I'm living all off YouTube, you know, like, no, I'm not one of them people because there are people out there that's getting thousands upon thousands of dollars a month, and I'm not one of them yet. <laughs> and when I do get there, I'm gonna let y'all know how I did it, document the whole process. But you know, it's just one of them things where you guys really have to have your heart into whatever it is that you're trying to do. Like, it doesn't even have to be music, whatever it is, because if your heart ain't into it, you ain't gonna do it. Like, I know some people that's probably about 40, 50 years old that's making beats, believe it or not, and they got. The equipment in their house and they be down there banging out the beats just like the young people like right now i really start to feel like an old person like i'm what i'll be 26 this year so i look at it like i don't look at myself as an old person but when i come up and see people 13 14 years old up here making these beats and they be uploading and putting in the work i'm like dang had i only started when i was your age but you know everybody got their own time so don't even look at that as a comparison when you're looking at other people's stuff like that like don't compare yourself to other people just keep on focusing on you and keep on working but yeah anyway if your heart is in it keep going this video i kind of feel like i was all over the place but i think you all would kind of get the message hopefully hopefully you all enjoyed this and um yeah it's a little something different you know different from the beats different from me making the beats different from me talking about a product different from the video game stuff 
different from the vlogs that I've been doing. I really do enjoy those. Some more of those are coming. But yeah, I really feel like somebody would use this message because I am I get messages like this all the time. People say that they're not making the money that they want to make. And even me, I'd be like, I can't tell you how to make money because it's not really even, that's not what it's about with me. It's about I focus on what I want to do work on work on branding like that's another thing with YouTube YouTube is a lot of branding and then the money starts to come in one way or the other I'm not saying you're making <laughs> 10,000 a week but you know if you make an extra hundred dollars a week that could help you whatever it is you're trying to do you're trying to buy some VSTs you make an extra hundred dollars a week shoot you'll be able to buy that stuff in no time but anyway y'all I'm about to end this video here I don't want to keep rambling if you want to get more of this just drop into one of my live streams we have conversations like this in my live streams all the time but um, I appreciate all y'all hopefully you all have a wonderful day I'm out of here